The cosmos, vast and enigmatic, has captivated human curiosity for millennia. Throughout thousands of years of dedicated research and exploration, we've made astounding progress. Today we stand at a remarkable juncture with over 5,000 exoplanets discovered. These are celestial orbs that orbit stars far beyond our solar system. But the questions that have stirred our imagination for centuries remain as relevant as ever. Are we solitary inhabitants of the universe, or does life exist elsewhere? Could there be distant worlds akin to our own, or perhaps even more extraordinary and varied than we can fathom? These questions have driven our curiosity and exploration of space and have inspired countless stories and fantasies. But what if we could find the answers to these questions? What if we could finally have found evidence of life beyond Earth? To answer these questions, we need a powerful tool that can peer into the depths of space and reveal the secrets of distant planets. That tool is the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST for short. JWST is a space observatory that was launched in 2021 by NASA, ESA, and CSA. It is the successor of the Hubble Space Telescope, but with much greater capabilities and ambitions. JWST has a unique talent. It specializes in peering into the universe through the lens of the infrared spectrum of light. This special power allows it to do something extraordinary. What does that mean? Well, it can peer through cosmic obstacles like dust and gas that cloak things in regular light. This superpower gives the JWST an incredible ability to explore some of the most distant and ancient objects in the universe. Think about it. This telescope can gaze at the very first galaxies and stars that sparkled into existence eons ago. But Webb isn't solely focused on the past. It's also intensely curious about the present and the future of our cosmos. One of its star missions is to explore exoplanets. Those are planets cozying up to stars other than our own sun. And it seems like it's doing quite well at it. According to new data discovered by the James Webb Space Telescope, water could be flowing on the surface of this colossal planet. But what are we talking about? Let's zoom in on one of the planets that's been under JWST's watchful eye, k 2 as 18 b This planet is in the so-called Goldilocks zone, or habitable zone of its star. The habitable zone is like the cosmic sweet spot. It's the region around a star where conditions are just right for liquid water to hang out on a planet's surface. And you know what they say about water? It's a key ingredient for life as we know it. Our cosmic story with k 2 18 b -A began back in 2015 when NASA's Kepler Space Telescope spotted it. Kepler's a bit like a cosmic paparazzo. It captures these epic moments when a planet passes in front of its star, from our perspective. This celestial photobomb causes a tiny dip in the star's brightness, and astronomers can work their magic to figure out stuff like the planet's size and how it moves around its star. By the way, it's got this 33-day orbit around its star, which keeps it cozy in that habitable zone. So, K218b, this exoplanet is about 8.6 times heavier than our good old Earth. It's like the big brother of the planet family, but it dances around a cooler, smaller star called K218, which is one of those red dwarf stars. They might not be as flashy as our sun, but they have their own charisma. These stars can be a bit feisty, throwing stellar flares every now and then. Speaking of distance, K218b isn't exactly our next door neighbor. It's a whopping 124 light years away. That means the light we're seeing from it today actually started its journey to our eyes 124 years ago. Space and time can play some mind-bending tricks on us, right? In 2019, the presence of water vapor in K218b's atmosphere was discovered, drawing attention to the system. k 2 mag has been studied as a potential habitable world that, Temperaturia seed, resembles more a gas planet like Uranus or Neptune than Earth. Think less, me girth tall, I know, and more, meaning Neptune. However, Water vapor alone does not guarantee habitability or life. The planet could still be too hot or too cold, 
too dry or too wet, too acidic or too alkaline, too calm or too stormy. It could also have other gases that are harmful or incompatible with life, such as carbon dioxide or hydrogen sulfide. To get a more complete picture of K218b's atmosphere, we need a more sensitive and sophisticated instrument than Kepler, Spitzer, or Hubble. We need James Webb. Webb's mission is not only to study exoplanet atmospheres, but also to look for biosignatures. Biosignatures can take many forms, and they're like a cosmic detective's toolkit. Some are direct evidence, like special gases or pigments that could only be produced by living organisms. Others are more subtle, like unique minerals or isotopes. Take a couple of superstar biosignatures as examples. Oxygen and methane. On Earth, oxygen is a big deal. It's essential for life, and we generate it through photosynthesis, where sunlight works its magic on water and carbon dioxide, creating oxygen and organic stuff. Then there's methane, another gas that can be linked to life. Here on Earth, it's churned out by various critters, especially the little guys living in oxygen-starved spots like swamps or the bellies of animals. If you see a planet with both oxygen and methane in its atmosphere, it's like a cosmic billboard saying, life might be here. But don't get too carried away. These gases, while intriguing, aren't the only show in town. There could be other ways to cook up oxygen and methane, like volcanic eruptions or comets crashing in. Plus, there might be different planets out there with different rules and different biosignatures, like ammonia, nitrous oxide, or sulfur compounds. Now, here's where things get really exciting. We're talking about K218b, which has the potential to be a Hycian exoplanet. The name Hycian is a mashup of hydrogen and ocean, and it's a fancy term for planets that scientists believe could have hydrogen-packed atmospheres and oceans of liquid water. That's the kind of place where life, as we know it, might just kick into gear. Here's the kicker. Scientists might have found a molecule called dimethyl sulfide, or DMS, hanging around on K218b. On Earth, DMS is pretty much a calling card for life. It's produced by living things, like marine algae called phytoplankton. These little guys not only provide a feast for sea creatures, but also create DMS when they bask in the sunlight. So, picture this. DMS on K218b could be a cosmic clue, a wink from the universe that says, hey, there might be life here too. Upcoming web observations should be able to confirm if DMS is indeed present in the atmosphere of K218b at significant levels, said Niku Madhusudan, an astronomer at the University of Cambridge and lead author of the paper on these observations. We do not know if K218b is truly habitable or inhabited, or if it is just a false positive or a fluke. So, you see, the universe is full of surprises, and every celestial body has its story to tell. But if there's life on K218b, and oh, how we hope there is, what's it like? Is it a carbon copy of Earth life? Or did it take a wildly different cosmic evolutionary path? Planets like K218b are still poorly understood, NASA says. However, some astronomers believe they could be a promising place to search for life. Moreover, commenting on these studies, Madhusudan stated, Our findings underscore the importance of considering diverse habitable environments in the search for life elsewhere. Adding that, Traditionally, the search for life on exoplanets has focused primarily on smaller rocky planets, but the larger Hycian worlds are significantly more conducive to atmospheric observations. The chances of life on exoplanet K218b are low, but not impossible. These results will likely not change anybody's opinions or beliefs about extraterrestrial life. Instead, they do demonstrate the advancing ability to look into worlds that are not our own and find more information. So, to unlock the secrets of K218b and the possibility of life beyond Earth, we're going to need more than just wishful thinking. We need cold, hard data, and we need to be scientific detectives on a cosmic scale. What are your thoughts on this? 
right in the comments. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to please the YouTube algorithms. See you soon.